It's our good friends, Dr. Phil and Robin McGraw. <laughs> Robin, aren't you guys, the set, the way you look, it's just incredible. Well, thanks. Thank We're having you. a ball. This has been fun. Oh, <laughs> I tell you, the set looks yeah. just like the movie. It's just incredible. Oh, really? We love it. We're actually at home. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hope that's not true. <laughs> well, in, well, in the movie, Joe and Josephine share a bed with Charlie's other grandparents, George and Georgina. So, Dr. Phil, what are your thoughts on this new <laughs> sleeping arrangement? <laughs> well, <laughs> I think it sucks, to tell you the truth. <laughs> They're sound sleepers, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, let, let's hope they're sound sleepers. <laughs> yes. Yeah, as you both can tell, we obviously all love Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Robin, how has this movie touched your life? Oh, we have always loved it. And I have to tell you, I have the most fun watching this with our grandchildren. And they have very special moments in the movie, especially when I've been always told they love and wait for Violet Beauregard to turn Violet. Wow. <laughs> yes, Charlotte, <laughs> yes. All right, so Willy Wonka is all about the sweets, as you know. So which one of you has the bigger sweet tooth? Oh, 100% <laughs> Robin, no question about it. She's the sweet toother for sure. Yes. And yes. she's pretty good at it. She, she makes them and eats them while she's making them. That's right. I love to cook them, I love to create them, and I love to eat them. Oh. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> All right, you both love dressing up for Halloween, but I've heard you don't always get to choose your own costume. So who's in charge of that? Oh, man, let me tell you, our grandkids are in charge of that. And that's what's scary about Halloween, is waiting for them to tell us who we're going to have to be. Like, you see on the left there, uh, I'm a duck, yeah. and uh, Robin is, is a witch. <laughs> then we had to be them, so we had to put on their school uniforms. Oh, uh, wow. Then we had to be Mickey Mouse. I mean, it's just always something. And we have to carry it the entire time <laughs> when we take them trick-or-treating and walk 30 miles. That's right. <laughs> oh, my Lord, you've got to stay in character now. I've got to ask you about your other kids. That's Blue and Einstein. How are they doing? Oh, look at them. Oh. Oh. Let me tell you, they are the sweetest pups, but I think they're, if you take a look at those paws, uh, what would you say, how big do you think they are now? I'm scared to death. Those babies are still babies, and they're like 50 pounds each. Uh, yes. Good luck with that yes. one. <laughs> I think I might dress them up as ponies this year. Yeah, somebody was going to come over and train them so they wouldn't fall in the pool, and then he decided it doesn't matter, they can stand in the deep end. <laughs> Year, a lot of couples dress up as the two of you for Halloween. So for people planning their costumes, what are the key ingredients to making the perfect Dr. Phil and Robin McGraw? Oh. What do you think? Well, I think uh, he's got more hair right now than he usually does, so yeah. I think that bald head is most important. Yeah, she has to be a fashion plate. I'm easy. They got to go to Rodeo Drive to do her. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That'd be nice. <laughs> hint, hint, Dr. Phil. All right. <laughs> Dr. Phil, as we all prepare for a different kind of holiday season this year, tell us what everyone can do to feel and spread joy. You know, that's such a great question because right now while we're in quarantine, that doesn't mean isolation. And I think people really need to use every tool they have to reach out to other people, and even if they do it electronically, or if you find somebody that you think is really on their own and maybe they're lonely, go knock on their door. And uh, Robin has really done something over the years, even when we weren't in quarantine, uh, where she shares family recipes. She writes them out by hand and would go up and down the street and just put them in people's mailboxes uh, just to say, hey, just wanted to share something from our family to yours that's brought a lot of joy over the years, whether it's Christmas cookies or a certain kind of pound cake or something really fun. 
but just reach out and, and give away what you need the most. If you're feeling lonely, find somebody more lonely than you and give them what you need. I promise it'll fill you up. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's on FaceTime or a phone call or whatever.